In today's video, I'll show you how I use Adobe Illustrator to create vectors from AI-generated silhouette images. First, let's generate our silhouette images. The free option is to use Stable Diffusion Forge UI installed on Windows. You'll need a good NVIDIA card to run it smoothly. I'm using the Juggernaut XL model. For the prompt, I'll test it with a cute cartoon cat wearing a hat using these settings. For the style, I'll choose Silhouette from the styles I created, which you can download and use too. Here's an example of what I get. I'll also try it for a cute dog wearing glasses, but with stable diffusion, sometimes I get line art instead of a silhouette. As you can see, I have a lot of art styles here. If you want to install them, look for my video titled 260 Art Styles on YouTube. In the pinned comment, you'll find a download link from where you can get the art styles. If you have the paid version of ChatGPT+, Plus, you can generate even better silhouette images. Click on Explore GPTs and wait for it to load. Then search for Silhouette Artist and look for the GPT named Silhouette Artist and Crafter. It has a vertical pen icon and is created by me. You can start the chat and let's try the same thing. A cute cat with a hat, maybe something for Halloween this time. Keep in mind that you are limited with Dolly to 30 messages for three hours, but the good part is that it can produce uh, really cool silhouette images. I'll also try for uh, a cute dog with glasses. If you click on an image, you can find a download button on the top right that allows you to save the image to your computer. If we compare all the generated images, Dolly is a little better at creating clean and modern silhouettes, but it's not free like Stable Diffusion. You also have an info button that lets you see and copy the prompt. Let's open Adobe Illustrator and create a new file. I'll make it 10, 24 pixels for both width and height. Then you can drag or paste your image or use place to insert your image inside Illustrator. After placing and positioning the image, you'll see a button called Image Trace, which only appears when an image is selected. Um, click on the arrow next to it and select one for testing. It can be silhouette or any other style. Then click on this button to open the image trace panel. Here you have different sliders that you can adjust. I like to check the option to ignore a color, usually white. Uh, you can use the eyedropper tool to click on the color you don't want to appear. As for settings, I've saved a uh, preset that works for me. Uh, you can you can save it from this menu as you can see it allows you to save a preset. I use threshold 111, paths 85, corners 89, noise 17. You can also check simplify if you want. I, I selected ignore white for color. Uh, save this preset to have it. Uh, then click on uh, expand to create the vector. If you look at the layers, um, you can see that we now have vector paths representing the image. So now you can select the path, move the points around, and adjust it as you want. Um, and you can also change the colors now. If changing the color turns it gray, uh, you can open the swatches and apply a color from there. Let's uh, create a new document and test again for the dog I made with Stable Diffusion. Place the dog inside Illustrator, then from the image trace arrow, select the previously saved settings. You can click Expand, or you can go to the panel and adjust more settings if needed. As for example, those fine lines can be removed using the noise setting. Play around and see uh, what settings work okay for you. But for me, uh, I pretty much use the same settings all the time click expand and you'll have the vector dog. Right now it has 479 points, uh, but we can reduce that number by going to path and selecting simplify. Now it says 245 points, so uh, half of what it had. And uh, you can play with the slider, but most of the time the automatic option does a good job. Um, you can edit the paths now. For example, um, if you don't like the eyes, you can select them with uh, the direct selection tool and, and delete them. Uh, then with a circle, you can create some new eyes. Arrange them so they are centered on the, the artboard. Go to the file menu and choose save as. From the types, you can choose different vector formats like AI, EPS, PDF, 
and a popular one is SVG, give it a name and press save. Then in this window, put these settings, type, convert to outline, advanced options, put presentation attributes and for decimal places, use three. Click OK and you have your SVG file saved. As you can see now we can open the SVG file with the browser and it's pure vector. I also have another GPT created for colorful cartoons. If you go to explore GPT and search for cute cartoon characters, you can select the one with the cute orange animal head and start the chat. I designed this one to generate characters isolated on a white background, making it easier to cut the background and create PNG images from it. As you can see, it can create some cute and nice characters.